everyone and welcome to another video about modding. This time we'll look at common mistakes that you guys wrote me. So to start up uh, we'll open the Unreal Engine. The first mistake I've seen is not setting up the mod tool config. It is actually really important to set up because otherwise it wouldn't work. So you need to set up the game installation directory and the Steam username for uploading to the workshop must be your login name on Steam. So if, if I like change user in here, this must match the Steam username that you write in here as a login. So it must be the same. Uh, so do not put your nickname, it must be the Steam account name in here. So that's the first one. Uh, the next one I've seen is that sometimes people just put it in the different different folder as it should. Uh, so uh, I've seen someone getting into decal, th this folder, where is the test decal. I've seen someone creating the mod tool in here, like the mod info, and trying to do a mod from here. That will not work, and I believe it will crash uh, because you will override the game the game data. So that's definitely not recommended. So how to fix that is create your own plugin, as I uh, showed you in the decal one. So you have to create the plugin. Uh, there is no way to uh, redo this one. Another thing that I didn't actually address is to show the plugin content as uh, without it ticked it doesn't show this stuff in here sometimes it just doesn't show the content so yeah that needs to be ticked so uh, another thing that i've already seen that someone did is i will open this uh, wrap for example so I've seen someone uh, who has uh, more decals and reps in one mod and he did put another mod info, like one mod info for each, each one uh, that will definitely not work uh, as, it see, as it says that an asset already exists. So yeah, yeah, you can only have one mod info and here you can set up more decals as you can see right now, I have five array elements, so I can have five decals, for example. So yeah, uh, that is how you do more decals in one in one mod. Uh, that applies to reps and adds as well. Another common thing that I've seen is that you didn't name the data asset to mod info. So I've seen someone having it named like new data asset and trying to cook it from there. That will definitely not work. Uh, there is no way that the Unreal will pick it up as the mod info and that's just not gonna work. So how to fix it is that to name the data asset to mod info and in the first place choose the correct data asset as the mod info. Another mistake that I've seen with the uploading to workshop as it seems to be pretty common and I didn't really address it too much in my video uh, you need to have a picture for the Unreal and for the workshop needs to be named steammod.png it is case sensitive so it needs to be like this it really needs to be a PNG and another thing, it needs to be under one megabyte. So it's, it needs to be really small. And without it, it will crash. It will say the error that cannot upload to workshop. So basically a fix for that is just to copy the steammod.png into the plugin folder of the plugin that you're trying to upload. Uh, then recook the mod as it needs to be recooked again and then uh, try to upload and then it should work. Sometimes the Steam servers are overwhelmed and it says error 
but uh, it shouldn't say file not found. So if it says file not found, then there is a problem with the picture. Otherwise, it is pretty much okay. Uh, as you can see, you can put basically anything in there, as it will show up on the on the Steam Workshop. So I believe that's all the common mistakes that I've catched uh, along the time. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to write me. Uh, I would prefer on Discord, as I'm on the Astragon server. As you can see, the Astragon Entertainment. And I am basically here almost like all the time. Uh, you can see sometimes I do reply here, but mostly uh, just write me uh, through the server and just PM me. And if it's not a stupid question or like something that I already addressed, I will try to help. Uh, otherwise, I will at least send the correct video with the timestamp, which you should take care about. So yeah, that's it about this modding video. Uh, it was just really show of the common mistakes that you should should not uh, do again. Uh, I hope that you liked it. It was a shorter one, uh, not really informative for people who have no problems. But yeah, I hope you liked it and see you next time in the next modding video. Until then, good luck in Unreal and have fun!